masks don't just look like this. Instead, they can also look like this. You're so ugly. You're so fat. You're so stupid. <laughs> no one would want to be friends with you. Who'd ever want to be like you? You're a loser. I'm fine. <sighs> I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I went to this party and it was so amazing and I was so amazing and everybody there was so amazing and I drank so much and I did so much and everything was so perfect and everything was so amazing and I was so amazing and I did so amazing things and everything was amazing and everyone said I was amazing and it was amazing. you when you do this oh. Not all masks are obvious. By simply teaching children, young people, to express themselves properly, we stop these masks becoming our identities. People cover up pain and uh, discomfort and emotions in various different ways, as you've seen in this video. But instead, if we were able to talk about how we're feeling, people wouldn't have to cover it up and these things wouldn't become toxic. Obviously, not everybody does these things, but watch out because what people seem like isn't necessarily what's going on. There's a lot that goes on behind closed doors and once those masks come off, there's a lot of tears, there's a lot of hurt, and there's a lot of pain. Sometimes people do the things that they do for a reason, so be mindful of that. And for you people who do wear a mask, take it off, speak to someone and know that you're not alone and mental health is important. Thank you.